What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'm going to be covering a viewer requested topic. So in a previous video of mine, I showed you how to move the origin installation of Apex Legends to Steam to minimize how much you needed to download. And in fact, you had to download almost nothing. Today, I've been requested to show you moving Apex Legends from Steam to Origin. But instead of it just being a copy paste of the previous video, I thought I'd go into a bit more detail. What exactly is different between the Steam and Origin installations of Apex Legends? Well, I used a simple file comparison software to check for identical files. And this is what I ended up with over here. You can see which folders are different. And when it says left only, it's the origin installation and right only, it's the Steam installation. So of course, the installer folder is different, easy anti-sheet is different, and the r 5 apexexe file is different. Besides that, everything is exactly the same. This audio file over here is different as on the Steam version, I'm using the English UI and a Japanese audio pack. If you'd like to know how to do that, check the description down below. Everyone speaks Japanese, but the text is in English. If we have a look at it in a bit more detail, you'll see the different language file over here that I was talking about. And this file inside the certificates folder in Easy Anti Cheat is different. So let's get to copying the files across and removing what we need to in order to get the game working properly on Origin. Number one, make sure you have it installed on Steam and it's fully up to date. Making sure it's up to date means that we won't have issues moving it across. Then right click the game in your library, manage, and then click browse local files. While you could probably have them both running off of the same folder, I'd highly recommend a separate folder for both the Steam and Apex installations. Inside of Origin, I already have it installed as I was comparing versions, but instead I'll right click uninstall for the purposes of this video. Here is Apex Legends, and when I click on it, it gives me the option to download. All we have to do is move these game files away from this folder over here by going back and cutting the Apex Legends folder. I'll put it under, say, eGames Origin, and I'll paste it into here. Now we simply need to wait for these files to copy across, and then we can start the verification process. After copying it across, simply open it up, and we'll be deleting the files that are different. Pulling across my reference over here, we're going to be deleting the installer folder, the crash pad folder, I'll select multiple ones by holding control and clicking on them, the easy anti cheat folder, and the install script file over here, as well as r5apex.exe and r5apex.bin. After selecting all of these files, I'll simply delete them. Now we'll open up Origin, head across to my library, click on Apex Legends, download, select a language, click accept, and then I'll choose an install folder. I'll click change location, navigate across to the drive with the Apex Legends folder we just copied, and instead of going into it, I'll click select folder. This way, we're creating a new Apex folder instead of Apex Legends. That's one of the differences between the Origin and Steam versions. I'll click next, I accept, next, and now the download will start. I'll simply hit Origin in the top left and then click exit while the download is in progress. Now we have an Apex folder as well as an Apex Legends folder. I'll simply delete the Apex folder and rename Apex Legends that we copied from Steam to just Apex as such. Reopening Origin, opening up My Game Library, you'll see that the Apex Legends install is paused. We'll wait a couple of seconds for it to restart, and I'll expand it so you can see exactly what's going on. From here, it's resuming, and you can see it's downloading incredibly fast at about 500 megs a second, or however fast your SSD or hard disk is. It's simply verifying the existing files and it'll be downloading the files that appear to be different or aren't in the folder. Because we deleted the files that are different from the Steam version currently, it'll re-download those ones and that's about it. There we go, now it's downloading the files that are missing. It'll probably be about 100 or 200 megs. Finalizing, and now it's done. As you can see, it's complete. Simply clicking on it, we can click play and the game will launch up. If for some reason you don't see the play button and instead you see a download button, make sure that you actually deleted the files that are different between the Steam and Origin versions. Mainly the EXE, the Easy Anti Cheat folder, and that's about it. Those are probably the two folders that are going to cause the most issues. If you deleted them and did that whole process, then the game should launch up as normal and you'll be able to play it just as you expect. Now we're in the main menu and the game's working exactly as we expect. Because it verified all of the files, we are running the official Origin version of the game instead of the Steam version, even though we downloaded the files through Steam. Awesome, so I'll close out of it. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.